video topic for today is how to craft and construct your own hockey vlog start to finish. Lately, there's a lot of new creators on YouTube popping up, especially in the goalie category. And I think it's fantastic. I think it's fantastic for the whole goalie world, the whole goalie community. I think it's great for YouTube. And hopefully this video helps a lot of people try to get into making videos and making hockey related films. In this video, I wanna to talk to you start to finish on how I create my hockey films. But I do want you to keep in mind, this is not the be all end all. This is not the way to get success and, and make videos that are hockey related on YouTube. This is just what I like to do. I suggest you take what I say, use what you like, use what works for you, and make your own hockey films. If everybody made a marinara sauce with the exact same spices, everything would suck. That's why you have 10,000 different pizza restaurants nowadays. This is a bad analogy, but be creative. Make your videos the way you want to do them, the way you would like to watch them, and people will come. Believe me. Now, if we're talking about making videos, the most important thing in a hockey vlog is hockey footage, on ice footage. It is a component that is very important if you're going to have a good vlog and a good hockey related video. You can't have a hockey related video without any on ice footage. Now what separates you from an NHL production or the next guy is going to be budget. See, that is the next biggest component. Production value, you're kind of up against the financial side of things because you don't have a $150,000 budget to broadcast your beer league games or any ice time for that matter. So when you find ways to change the angles up and set up a GoPro at a different location, every stop at your play, every whistle, every period, things usually turn out very nice. There's like this drone view that I do for a lot of the games. It's like an aerial looking down at the rink. I'm not actually flying the drone. I'm setting the drone up in a secure location. I set it looking down on the ice and it looks like it's a drone shot, but it's not. I'm trying to simulate that NHL style broadcast the best that it can. Lots of angles, lots of production value. This is important because people want to be entertained. They want to be entertained by, hold on one sec honey. They want to be entertained by multiple camera angles and they want to feel like they're watching an NHL production game. Oh, my coffee's on top of the roof. I forgot. I'm going, I'm coming. It's not about you, it's not about me, it's about what the people actually want to see. Me showing off my highlights in a 20 minute video that's not edited, not trimmed down, and has no value aside from, look at me, this is what I'm doing. Nobody wants to watch that. There's too many of those videos floating around the internet right now that are like 20 or 30 minutes, also being posted in GGSU on the regular. Again, don't do that. Videos were all about short, sweet, let's get in, let's get out. This video already, you've seen multiple different camera angles, multiple locations, multiple different camera setups. It's because I wanna keep your attention, things gotta be moving all the time. When you post that 25 minute video of your ice hockey highlights on a Facebook group or on YouTube, nobody cares, it's the same thing, nothing is changing, nothing is getting your attention. Sometimes there's information that's really important that I wanna get across. That's when I might break the rule, but for the most part, I try to keep it under two minutes, let's keep the ball rolling, let's keep things moving in the video, and keep that attention span going. This is very key, not just for a hockey video, but any film, period. Having 10,000 GoPros and having top of the line camera equipment is a prerequisite to making great videos. It's not. Let me explain. GoPro Hero 7 Black, this is what I use on almost a daily basis on every single video. It is on the ice, it is my net cam, board cam, glass cam, helmet cam, and it's also what I talk to you with right now. I switched to the GoPro just because it's convenient and I wasn't spending so much time farting around trying to get the perfect shot every time, as opposed to I have something that works, it's convenient, it is small, it's dynamic, and I just get the shot every time, which is what I care about. This is my DJI Phantom 4 Advanced Plus. Phantom 4 Advanced Plus drone. Uh, you see this in all the aerials, every drone shot I've ever done. This is what I'm using. Also the aerial shots, the rinks, any of the shots looking down at the rink. Uh, also setting this up again at a secure location, setting it up for the drone shot in the rink. Uh, I got the Plus model. The Plus model just comes with the screen. Uh, thing is not cheap, but it is an awesome drone and I use it all the time. So I'm in a hotel room right now. Uh, I'm not traveling, I'm actually in Winnipeg. I'm not on a tryout or a hockey journey. I am home in Winnipeg right now. I'm actually the Radisson Hotel. This is a hotel downtown. And the people here are really awesome. They actually just allow me into a hotel room. They give me a key so I can set up a camera, do time lapses, really awesome. The time lapses, the drone shots and everything provide context. I wanna take a narrative, stretch it out, start of the day to the end of the day. And in that timeline, I wanna put everything that I'm trying to show you throughout that day, whether it be a how-to video, whether it be a hockey vlog, a travel vlog, a tryout, whatever it is, a hockey, it could be a review on a product as well. I want everything to tell a story. I don't want it to just be about the product or just be about the hockey or about the, the highlights. I want it to be the total package. I want you to know where I am, what I'm doing, where I'm doing it, when I'm doing it, all of that context is a part of telling a great story. We all have that friend who tells horrible stories. You're not engaged, you don't care, you're on your phone halfway through, you're twiddling your thumbs, and you're just giving them the, yeah, uh-huh, yeah, sure. Oh, no, you don't say all the time because it's boring. The drone shots, it gives you an aerial perspective of the rink, the city, whatever it is, the time lapses, the time of day, something changing, something going on in the actual event of the video that hopefully means something to you and that you can pick up on it. And it's not just a cool shot, although it did look good, there is more than just looks behind it and aesthetics. It's not just a how-to video, it's not just a review, it's not a commentary, it's not a vlog, it's not 
any of that. It's an experience. It is a well-rounded package that takes you to that magical place that makes you feel like you're actually there. Every time I post a video, I want you, you the person watching this, yes, you, not you guys, you personally, I want you to feel like you are there with me. I want you to feel like you're out the ring, you're on the ice, you're wherever I am, whatever I'm doing, I want you to feel a part of it. Like we are doing it together. Now I am biased, but I think the whole wall order package, the multiple angles on the ice, the talking personally to the camera, the music, the cinematography, the drone shots, the time lapses, all that comes together, makes a fantastic product that I think, and I am biased, but I think that brings you in closer to the actual person making the film and makes you feel like you're a part of the experience. Correct me if I'm wrong though. I picked up a lot of the self-talk from guys like Casey Neistat, a lot of his vlogs and a lot of his films really inspired me to take hockey vlogs and try to take it to the next level. And I think that's what separates the boring videos from the NHL. You have a top-notch production, you have an amateur with a GoPro. How do you bring that both together to a great package? Lots of shots, time lapses, drone shots, storytelling, context, uh, commentary. Bringing the whole package together so it is a well-rounded experience because you're here on this video for one reason. You could be here to be entertained, to learn something, uh, all that coming down to an experience. You want to experience education, you want to experience knowledge, you want to experience entertainment. That is why this is important. Uh, by the way, I shoot every time lapse that you've ever seen on my iPad. And here we are, just morning sunrise on the iPad for a time lapse. Looks good. And this is all thanks to the awesome people over here at the Radisson. Anytime you buy new, used, or pro return sport equipment online, a lot of guys try to take their garbage, try to sell it to you. That doesn't happen to SidelineSwap.com. Only the best new, used, and pro return sport equipment is available for purchase on SidelineSwap.com. It is real people selling to real people. Go to SidelineSwap.com, get an account, and I will see you in the next video.